To know God is not for the faint of heart. Mind you, you are pursuing a being that has done the impossible, that is the impossible, that is unimaginable love, that is unimaginable forgiveness, creation, destiny. God is everything. In pursuing a relationship with this entity that is all-encompassing, don't think it's for, you know, a short term. It's for the long haul. We put God in a box and uh, the Christian faith, the evolution of the Christian faith um, has not, I don't think it has the parameters to fully unbox God. And then people that are called and put in position or uh, enemy factors that are that are deeply entrenched and have become attached to the faith for disruption have done a good job to uh, keep God in this box. But you can't put God in a box if he's putting spirits back in people when they've already gone to this built room. You can't put God in a box when he has he could heal mental illness. You can't put God in a box where he can literally confront evil beings that uh, don't have the best intentions for you, roll their kingdom up and push it off a cliff and some pigs like that. We don't understand God. We have to be, we have to be understanding that we don't understand God and in understanding God that we have to get an understanding that we know nothing and that we have to come with our hands open so God can feel them. And with what he fills them with, we have to be cognizant that we have to sift slowly and let the process happen of being fully integrated with the Most High. It takes prayer. It takes immense focus. It takes immense reminding. It takes calm. It takes passion. It takes a little rage. But I think I'll put that under passion. Um, it takes being different. It takes being alone. And it takes being okay with being alone. And ultimately, it takes trust. And it takes love. If we don't love and trust, God kind of off rip, just like he says, like a child, uh, will never get to see the greatness of who he is in, in the capacity that we can digest him.